Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on calculating positive predictive value and negative predictive value in SPSS. I have here in the data editor in SPSS two variables, assessment and outcome, and both variables are dichotomous. And they have the same two levels, pass and fail. Pass is coded as zero, and fail is coded as one. So let's assume that we have a brief counseling skills training and we assess all the participants at the beginning of the training and then we assess them again at the end and this outcome assessment measures whether they actually passed or failed the training. This assessment variable contains the values from the assessment given at the beginning of the training and this is designed to predict whether the participant will pass or fail. So we have a predictor variable and an outcome variable. And from these data, we want to be able to determine the probability that someone who is assessed as passing actually passed the training. That's positive predictive value. And we also want to calculate the probability that someone who is assessed as failing actually failed the training. And that's referred to as negative predictive value. These two constructs are different than sensitivity and specificity. Sensitivity is the probability that the assessment will indicate a pass among those who passed. And specificity is the probability the assessment will indicate a fail among those who failed. SPSS can calculate all four constructs from the crosstabs function. So first I'm going to display chi-square statistic using descriptive statistics and cross tabs and I'm not going to include sensitivity specificity or positive or negative predictive value so I'm going to put assessment in the rows list box outcome in the columns list box then under statistics I'm just going to check off chi-square continue and then click OK and I ran the statistic in this manner to generate this output to discuss true positives, false positives, true negatives, and false negatives. Understanding these concepts helps with understanding sensitivity, specificity, and positive and negative predictive value. So taking a look at this assessment times outcome cross tabulation, we can see that the assessment here in this row predicted pass and the outcome was passed on 23 occasions for 23 of the participants. That's called a true positive. Moving one cell down, the assessment predicted a fail, and yet the outcome was a pass. This is a false negative. That value is 5. Up here in the column over and a row up, the assessment predicted a pass, but the outcome was a fail. This is a false positive. And then down one row, we have the instances where the assessment predicted a fail, and the outcome was a fail. That's a true negative. So now if we rerun this chi-square, I'll go here to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and Cross Tabs, and I go to Cells, we can see under Percentages, we have options row, column, and total. The column is the outcome variable. So if I select column and click continue and OK, I get the same output as I received before, except now I have the column percentages. So we can see at the intersection of where there was a pass for assessment and a pass for outcome, percent within outcome, this is the sensitivity. There's an 82.1% chance that this assessment will indicate a pass among those who passed. That's 23 divided by 28. Moving here to intersection of the assessment predicting a fail and the outcome being a fail, percent with an outcome, we have 78.1% specificity. There's a 78% point one percent chance that the assessment will indicate a fail for those that actually failed. 
that would be 25 divided by 32. So moving back to analyze, descriptive statistics, cross tabs, and going back to cells, I'm now going to add the row. So I'm going to check off row under percentages, click continue, and then click OK. And again, this is the same table as we had before, except now we have the addition of the row percentages. And in the row, of course, is the assessment values. So moving into this table, the assessment times outcome cross tabulation, we can see we have the sensitivity and specificity in the percent with an outcome, that's the column. But looking here at the percent with an assessment, we see we have 76.7%. That's the positive predictive value. There is a 76.7% chance that someone who is assessed as passing actually passed. That's 23 divided by 30. Moving down here to percent with an assessment for assessment indicating fail and the outcome being fail, it's 83.3%. That's the negative predictive value. There's an 83.3% chance that someone who is assessed as failing actually failed. That's 25 divided by 30. 83.3% negative predictive value. Moving down here under the pass column and looking at percent with an assessment, this value, the 46.7%, is referred to as the prevalence and it's the percent of the sample that passed. So it's 28 divided by 60, 46.7% prevalence. I hope you found this video on calculating positive and negative predictive value in SPSS to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.